It is not too difficult to open up the cover of the drill as it involves removing the four screws and plying open the cover carefully. To remove the motor speed controller, one must also remove the two screws holding down the supply board as shown. To remove the speed controller, one must first remove the two electric brushes, otherwise, the bearing cannot clear the brushes. To open up the speed controller, one will have to pry open its cover carefully, starting from the bottom of the cover and working the way up to the top side. One should find a small PCB board which will need to be removed to do the cleaning. The speed controller has a small PCB board containing a triac, a diac, a capacitor and the sliding resistor as shown. The complete circuit board is shown in the blog article indicated below this video. The fault of the drill was found to be a bad connection in the socket of the field coil unit. As it was difficult to remove the socket, the fix was done by soldering the wire of the field coil to the socket using another small piece of wire as shown. The field coil unit was tested and found to be working with an ohmic reading of about 33 ohms. The drill was found to be in perfect working condition after the repairing.